Okay. What's the matter, Crystal? You aren't happy to be here? I've had a long day, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Audio thinking in three, two, one. Hey, now. <laughs> I think she's had a longer day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Hello, and welcome back to Rolling with Reddit. Reddit. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> hey, kids, have you tried Rolling with Reddit? <laughs> We have two stories here today. Um, one was actually suggested to us by Livy um, over on the uh, Tov's Day material that we have here on this channel. Go check that out. Tales They're of the cool Valiant. Livy. Mm -hmm. Very cool, Livy. Very cool of them. Um, this one is by Possum Possumistic. Ooh, that's the <laughs> best name. That is a good play on words. Yeah. Um, the title reads: Party tried to sneak. A long rest, um, okay. and I will. I will say, uh, and I quote: When Livy sent this to me, they said that it was a sad read. A sad read. It was a sad read, and they said. I don't want to be sad. Uh, I came here to send you this, though. Really sad read. It'd be absolutely. I'd be absolutely devastated. Is what they said. This will make us devastated. Potentially. I come here to get angry. Bring on the pain. Oh, okay, God. okay, copy that. <laughs> Hopping right into the pain game with you. Alrighty, bring it on the pain. Here we go. So, let me preface by saying nothing like this has happened before in the last two years. 67 sessions that in I've been the DMing. Last 200 years. 200 years and 67 sessions that I've been DMing for my 5e homebrew campaign. You have to do yeah. that the whole time now. The campaign, no. The <laughs> campaign in question is low, uh... You might read better as the old man. <laughs> is low lethality, not okay. a meat grinder. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll just, I'll bring on a new persona. <laughs> I have that beard from that you one do. shoot. Yeah. It's unhinged. Oh, yeah. um, no PC has permanently died yet, cool. uh, and three out of five players have played the same character since level one. Okay, uh, what level are they now? It does not say. Level 13, it says it later on. <laughs> I love this campaign, the characters and my players, but our session last night put a seriously bad taste in my mouth. Hmm. My level 13 party of five was taking a short rest between encounters last night. When I took a bathroom break and gave them time to discuss tactics, they're on the BBEG's island, mm. a lich, mm -hmm. um, which is infested with roving undead hordes, so they knew that another combat encounter was inevitable. Mm. Some of their resources were taxed uh, from journeying to the island, but an upcoming encounter was one Bodok and 15 skeletons. Extremely trivial for a level 13 party of five. I came back from the bathroom, started up the encounter, and quickly realized that everyone had taken a long rest, not a short rest. Is this an online campaign? Potentially. Like, otherwise, if it was in person, wouldn't it just yeah like on a sheet? I'm it assuming would be hard to see. Yeah, I'm assuming this is online because if they notice immediately that everyone's taking a long rest, they yeah. like view their HP and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I paused the session and asked if anyone had accidentally taken a long rest, and my players either remained quiet or made up some excuse and tried to deny that they'd taken a long rest. We play virtually, using Foundry Virtual Tabletop, something mm -hmm. I still want to try one day, but it's too complicated for me today. <laughs> Somebody teach me, senpai. Uh, so I was able to scroll up in chat to confirm that they had all, in fact, taken a long rest, and tried to pass it off as a short rest. They even tried to hide it by flooding the chat with random rolls. Mm. It's a little cunty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not the nicest thing to do. So obviously, this derailed the whole session mm -hmm. and upset me a lot. I still feel disappointed in my party, both as my players and as my friends. I had planned the next session to be the BBEG fight, the end of the campaign arc, and probably the end of the whole campaign. Now it just feels ruined. As a DM, I know I'm more invested in the game balance than some of the outcomes. 
As a DM, I know I'm more invested in the game balance and the outcomes, but cheating in the penultimate session of such a long campaign just seems so immature to me. There is also the fact that they fully lied to my face about it, and I'll never know how long they would have kept up that charade if I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge, like... I think the lying part is the worst part of it all. Yeah, yeah. I think if More they had just... The story. I think yeah. if they had owned up to it right away... It, it could have almost explained why it they wanted to try to do this. It, it could have, have been almost so been funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could have almost been Alrighty guys, let's get Did you guys rest? No. no. Like make no. it super obvious. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but that's not the reality this world is living in, and I'm I'm mm. preparing for some more shit down here. Apparently it was done as a joke to see if they can get away with it but I really don't find it that funny. From a gameplay perspective, I did my best to balance the last three sessions to make players' decisions very meaningful, since it was leading to the BBEG fight. Now it feels like all that effort and all those meaningful player decisions have been totally invalidated. I think the if they didn't flood it with random rolls to try to hide it and it was just like sitting there, that would be a funny joke. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, I would believe that it was a joke if they hadn't, like, continued to lie after getting caught. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also, though, think that maybe this DM is taking it a little too personally. That is... A little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean... Which is why I was like, the lying they, is the they worst sh part. But the game they part should have it. trusted their DM. Yes. Yes. Um, enough to where they didn't feel like they had to force a long rest. But I, I also understand like fearing for your character in those final <laughs> moments and being like, I need this long rest. To a certain extent, I get it. But how yeah. well do you get it? <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Hey, Emma. Hmm. <laughs> Retroactively, take 22 points of damage. So <laughs> which character? And you know who's to say. <laughs> anyway. Ah! <laughs> Anywho, after some minor disputes about what to do, I had them decrement their resources to what we all agreed upon as fair. Mm -hmm. But no one actually knows the correct amount of HP, hit dice, or spell slots they should have had. Ooh, that's where the joke probably. Yeah, that sucks. It, 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 if you were gonna do it as a joke, you needed to like screen grab Keep what you had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Foundry VTT doesn't let you revert long rests, and no one recorded their current resources before they hit the long rest button. I voiced my disappointment to my players, and we finished the last 30 minutes of the session without further issue. They all apologized to me at the end, but even the best apology doesn't make things much better for me as their DM and friend. Uh, I've put a lot of time and effort and passion into our campaign, and it sucks to see that this happened so casually, cruelly, and close to what I had hoped to be a meaningful end. Uh, sad face. Mm. In, in the text, sad face. <laughs> From a continued play perspective, I'm a little stuck on what to do. I've seriously never seen anyone cheat like this in D&D before, let alone a group of five grown adults who have been playing for well over a year. More than anything, I'm disappointed in them as friends since they all either lied to me or stood by and watched. I feel like a breach of trust like this would spell the end of most campaigns, but it feels super bad. Oh, sorry, but it feels super bad <laughs> to all, to my ball. To your balls? To your balls? To, to, <laughs> super bad to take my ball and go home so close to the end of my first campaign. I had planned a few weeks break for the main campaign, maybe have players DM their own one-shots to give me time to prep our next adventure, but now I'm unsure what to do. My feelings are hurt and it feels like I'm either, I am either need to fully reset expectations for my current group or play a D&D with a different group of friends. So if you have a perspective on how I should handle the issue, both in-game and out-of-game, I would love to hear it. Happy face. TLDR, sorry, okay. just yeah, one yeah, last yeah, little yeah, bit and then we're good. First, yeah. TLDR, 
down bad DM, interesting descriptor, whose players lied and cheated in the penultimate session of a long-running campaign seeks advice. Sad face. I think you mean... I, I don't think... I don't, I don't think that means what you think it means, bro. Okay. What? What? Down, Down bad? bad. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. That <laughs> I, I think you meant mm-hmm. to say something else there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Down Devastated? in the dumps? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. This is pessimistic we're talking about. They could be very <laughs> down bad. You said this was a two year long campaign? Um, yes. And 67 sessions. I feel like when you spend that much time with someone, or multiple people, one instance, especially if they like, if the apologies felt genuine, that is a lot to throw away. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely would not recommend quitting on um, your last session just from like, you're getting your feelings hurt a little bit, you know? Yeah. I mean, especially on like, if we're talking track records, mm-hmm. if this is the first like bump on the road in two years, yeah, yeah, like this is gonna be a re- it's gonna be a very important lesson to learn. Yes. And ideally, you're never gonna have to learn it again. Mm-hmm. So ideally, who knows? Ideally, like, yeah. If they truly learned that this is not a nice joke. Yeah. 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 And if it happens again, That's, then you yeah. can yeah. Then be you, like, okay, then you like quit this. and find a new party. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, I I would say stick it out and and uh, yeah, because you clearly gelled well enough for two years. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Let's see what some of these top commenters have to say. We have one by Blarky Zero. This used to happen in a different way with a group I DM'd for. We played in person on paper, and occasionally someone would rewrite their character sheet or lose the scrap pad. They used to track all their consumable resources in between sessions. At first, it was no big deal. Just guess and we'll move on. But I started noticing this both increased in frequency and with others joining in. Hmm. And usually estimated quite low uh, use when I knew otherwise. So like, I only used two arrows. It's like you shot four of them last Mm -hmm. combat. Um, After a bit, I laid down the rule that if you lose track of your resources instead of Instead, you'll be set to one HP, zero HD remaining, whatever that is, uh, zero spells and abilities remaining, and after a couple of sessions I stuck to my guns on this rule, the forgetfulness suddenly nosedived. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's like it worked, dealing with guess. kids, yeah. honestly. <laughs> you gotta set boundaries. Yeah. I mean, I legit had a rule um, in one of my home games of like, if I give you guys an item, and then it's not added to your inventory. And then several sessions down the line, you go, don't I have this thing? I'm just gonna go, is it in your inventory? No, you must have lost it somewhere. Uh, Like, I'm sorry. Um, Because things like this would happen occasionally and it was very frustrating. Um, So, I mean, I I do get this guy's perspective, Um, but more on the OP's side, um, sucks. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, like, see, that's repeated cheating. Yeah. You're dealing with a single instance that I I haven't heard their apologies, but they seem... Yeah, they did sorry. apologize according to yeah. OP, yeah. Yeah. And, like, but feel, whether you're feeling betrayed or not, like, you know, you have to at some point move on. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. And I actually think that's all the time that we have for this particular Rolling with Reddit. Mm. So only a one story, uh, one storyer for you guys. One storyer? One Reddit? Was it? One... Only one story? Yeah. Yeah. Just that one. Well, yep, just yeah. this one. Nice. It was, you know, it was pretty action packed, though. I it liked was. it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Possumistic. Um, by the way. And thanks, Livy. This is, yeah, thank you, Livy. Yeah. This is going to date this story whenever we get it uploaded, but at the time of recording it, this is three days ago. Uh huh. Um, so, viewers, hop down in the description, uh, check how long it's been since we've recorded this, <laughs> and also give Possumistic some feedback, show them some love, and, you know, hopefully, Possumistic, if you're watching this, you're having better RPG experiences now. 
In the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next week for more Rolling with Reddit. Bye-bye for now.